What up, folks? I just wanted to come to you today and talk to you about my experience with CompTIA A Plus certification, me completing it, and what helped me complete and pass my exam. Now, first off, the exam, I did the 800 series um, right now. It's June 8th, 2016. I did it about a month ago and completed it. Um, I wanted to do the 800 series and just hurry up and just get it out of the way before they, they uh, discontinue that version. They now have 901, 902 series out, which you can go on the CompTIA's website and uh, look and review. Now, what helped me a lot with passing my exam was VCEs which is like a um, test simulation that simulates actual test questions and things of that nature. You can actually buy it um, $20, $25, I think, online. Just put in CompTIA Plus VCEs, and it'll just show you like a list on Google where you can go to purchase it. But that helped me significantly. Um, a lot of the, sim the pre-exam simulations that are on there were, are actual questions that were actually on the test itself. So that helped me out a lot, and I was really surprised by that. Um, some other things, tools that I used to review and look through was my book. This book I got from school. I went to um, Network Learning Institute for about three, four months, I think. Um, it was a three-course program, which included um, teaching A+, Net+, and MCP. Um, this is the book for A plus that I received, A plus guide to managing and maintaining your PC. I like this book because um, it is color coded, everything's in color. Um, it has pretty much everything in here about chips and different types of motherboards, SATA cables, DIMM technologies. I mean, everything that you would need to pass your exam is in this book, but. How many of us really get, it, it really is going to read a book from cover to cover? Not many. So, this is what I did. With the VCEs, I made flashcards that actually helped me out a lot as well. I put the question on the front, put the answer on the back, and I studied from that. That helped me significantly. Also, um, another book that I had retrieved from, I think it was Barnes & Noble's, is A Plus Certification, Only One for Dummies. This is a 9-in-1 book. This one book is all black and white. And it's a little brutal to look through and read because it's not really appealing. They do have um, like review questions in the back where you can answer questions and things of that nature. It gives you the answers, etc. Managing printers, things of that nature. So um, the test is a two part, two -part test. One ninety five a piece. Um, there are some programs with your state that you may be able to enroll in with your unemployment office or whatever the case may be that will actually pay for your schooling and pay for you to take the exam. It's something for you to definitely look into. They reimburse you for the testing, if not pay for the testing exam itself. So definitely look into different programs within your state to see if there's anything available that you might be eligible for. Um, if not, you can. they also have on CompTIA, you may be able to find um, vouchers for uh, a free retake. So definitely look into that. You can go on the CompTIA website or you can go on to Google and see if there's anything available out there that people are selling or, or have that you may be able to take advantage of. But they give you about, I think it's 90 minutes to take each part. I took the 801 and the 802 separately. I passed the 801 last year, and I just completed the 802 this year. So it took me some time because I really, I had lost my job at the time, and I really wasn't into the studying thing. I just wanted to find another job and just work and trying to make time for studying. So I just studied hard for the month prior to my test, and then went in and completed it. I completed both exams the first time I took them because I did not want to pay another $195 for the test. That shit is expensive. So... Yeah, so um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, and yeah, I will keep you guys updated on my next technical exam. I may go ahead and go forward and start start to study for the Net Plus or MCP, the Microsoft Certified Professional um, 
exam. So I'll let you guys know how it goes and keep you updated. Um, it's definitely nerve wracking to go and take your A plus certification. Just know that if you study for it, you should be okay. Nine times out of ten, you'll pass if you pretty much study the way you're supposed to. Flashcards work, VCEs work, things that work for me may also work for you. So definitely keep that in mind. All right. Oh, on the VCEs, if you get on uh, maybe like an eighty, if you get passing with like an eighty or eighty-five at least with all of the VCEs that you take, then you pretty much you might be ready to go ahead and take the exam. I registered for the exam to take my test and everything and schedule it forward. I went on I didn't go on to the CompTIA website, I actually went on to Pearson View and um registered for it there. So you may want to look into that. You see they may be more uh, comparable for you. But CompTIA may, may have vouchers that are included with theirs pricing so definitely look into that all right guys i will talk to you guys later and bye bye uh